So next up, we have the dumbest bill in America. And Mr. Assistant Producer, do we have a lead up to the dumbest bill in America? And here it is. And it's the dumbest bill in America. And it is California erases Abraham Lincoln. Yes, you heard that correctly. California erases Abraham Lincoln. That's because <laughs> Abraham Lincoln didn't support Black Lives Matter. Uh, I'm going to read this for you. You're not going to believe it. But we also have a series of clips we want you to listen to as well about this particular <laughs> dumbest bill in America. So th it happened in San Francisco. So a San Francisco district is planning to rename a school named after Abraham Lincoln because the former president did not stem demonstrate that black lives matter to him. <laughs> so a San Francisco district is planning to rename a school named after Abraham Lincoln because the former president did not demonstrate that black lives mattered to him. Uh, you heard that correctly. We have a series of clips from the San Francisco Unified School District. And these are the individuals who participated in the renaming, not just of the Abraham Lincoln School, but also other schools, you know, George Washington, you know, because these are all really bad people. Um, and first up is a first grade teacher who apparently somehow managed to get on this committee. <laughs> he got on the committee somehow as a first grade teacher uh, that allows us to, or allows them to rename schools, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, whatever because they don't like the name and because people are triggered in the greater San Francisco Unified School District. This gentleman's name is Jeremiah Jeffries. Well, Jeremiah Jeffries talks about, you know, what he thinks about all this. We have that clip and here it is. So, hello everyone, I'm Jeremiah Jeffries. I'm a first grade teacher at Renning Elementary School. Um, so going through the school renaming process has been actually really great for my teaching because it really has made me think about and source sort of who we're lifting up and why. And I've learned so much about the history of San Francisco schools. Yeah, he's learned so much about the history of San Francisco schools, but apparently doesn't like Abraham Lincoln's history because he didn't support Black Lives Matter. What? Black Lives Matter didn't exist. Uh, the group did not exist, we're talking about, during Abraham Lincoln's time. And I mean, you, do you really think that you're that much better than Abraham Lincoln, that you can find a better name? Well, here's Jeremiah Jeffries again. Once again, he's the first grade school teacher in the district. And he's talking about, you know, maybe we should name some of these school buildings after teachers, you know, because they're school buildings. Not Abraham Lincoln, but after teachers. We have that clip and here it is. We, we will recognize uh, any of the teachers who uh, are nominated uh, and who do that work, who meet the criteria. And there's basically just three years uh, doing, of experience doing social justice work. And so uh, it's really incredible. Like for me, I, I hear the stories and in some ways I want to do more. Uh, but also it's affirming because I see a lot of the work that I do do reflected in the nominations as well. And the stories that people tell about educators, I see things that I do myself. So I know in some ways that the work I, I also give is also being appreciated and felt. So it's a pretty incredible process. Beware of the people that always use the pronoun I like 20 times in a sentence. I, 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 I which is what this guy just did, of course. Obviously, it's all about him. It's all about Jeremiah Jeffries because what he wants really, if you really listen to that closely, what he wants is not just to name uh, high schools and elementary schools and middle schools after teachers. He wants one of them named after himself. That's why he's part of it. It's literally kind of what he's alluding to, you know? Because after all, if your name is Jeremiah Jeffries, even though you've never heard of him, he's just a little more virtuous than Abraham Lincoln. I mean, come on, he's got to be a little bit more virtuous because you got to make sure that, I don't know, that he actually is, you know, named after a school. So we have a bunch of uh, articles that have come out about this. And we have a third clip, by the, by the way, too, which you're really going to laugh at. So, But Jeremiah Jeffries, apparently his parents, and we have this here, this article, 
Uh, first up, it says San Francisco to rename Abraham Lincoln High School because former president did not demonstrate that he Black Lives Matter to him as woke renaming committee also na takes aim at Democrat Senator Dianne, Dianne Feinstein because apparently Dianne Feinstein once uh, put a flag of uh, the Confederacy and flew it up in San Francisco many, many, many years ago. So they're on this complete rant to get rid of anyone's name because if there was any mistake that they had made, uh, including mistakes that they weren't even aware that existed, you know, for like another 150, 160 years, they could be canceled. So Jeremiah Jeffries, whom you just heard, uh, he's the man in charge of school renaming, whose parents were members of the Nation of Islam, and that inspired him. So here's what it says. The guy that you just heard says, the man behind the renaming of 44 of San Francisco's schools is a first grade teacher who was influenced by his parents, both prominent members of the Nation of Islam, who set up their own Islamic school. Jeremiah Jeffries, chairman of the renaming committee, revealed in an interview that his mother told him, there's nothing mysterious about progression. It's working instead of wishing. She and her husband set up the Sister Clara Muhammad School that serve a predominantly African-American Muslim population. The Nation of Islam, which they're part of, which is defined as an organized hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center, because it is a hate group, for its racist, anti-Semitic, and anti-gay teachings and rhetoric of black superiority over whites. Jeffries also led San Francisco's largest school boycott when he encouraged 200 families to send their children to protest the closure of a school rather than to their actual educational lessons. That happened back in 2006. In 1999, Jeffries hit headlines nationwide when he held a protest against teachers spending their own money on school supplies. The San Francisco School District increased the school supply budget for the first time in decades as a result. He has always carved out a reputation as a power broker for the district, blah, 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 blah. So that gives you some background on good old Jeremiah Jeffries. Basically, you know, he grew up in an incredibly racist family um, and he would have to, right? Because in order to hate on all people, Abraham Lincoln, you probably would have to be a racist yourself. <laughs> what other explanation could you have? I mean, he just thinks he's a bit more virtuous than Abraham Lincoln. So here's another guy, Mark Sanchez. He's the president of the Board of Education in the same district. So Mark Sanchez talks about, you know, the issue of renaming and how, you know, we're really trying to help students. We have that clip and here it is. I know what it means when the district, the quote unquote district uh, tells, mandates, um, asks, suggests that, that we do something new and different. It's always um, one more thing on our plate and that's many times not okay. Usually the things that we're asking principals to do are compliance oriented and have actually nothing to do with the classroom, nothing to do with the students and families that actually go to the school. We're asking principals and their, and their um, communities to do something I think they should embrace, which is to actually um, work together to, to provide a, a new name for the school. I think that's an exciting opportunity. So, so we're asking for people to help us, including students and parents, to, you know, to come up with some new names for all these schools. And principals really aren't supposed to you know, help students anyway. So we're helping the principals, you know, help us. And we don't want the principals to spend time with the students. We want them to spend time on, you know, stuff that really matters, like renaming schools. What? What is happening in California? I mean, and this guy is the guy that, this is the best you can do as president of the Board of Education in the greater San Francisco area? Really? This is the best you can do? So he went on to say, and we don't have a clip on this, but we're going to describe it. So he, Mark Sanchez, went on to say that, you know, Maybe one idea that we should do, and you should have seen it because it was a, a Zoom call with like four or five people, including Jeremiah Jeffries and some others who are part of the school district and part of the school board, elected members of the school board. They said, you know, one thing that we should do is name a school after Michelle Obama. And you should have seen all their faces. They're all like, oh my gosh, that's so wonderful, Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, we should, we should probably put Michelle Obama's name instead of Abraham Lincoln because, you know, Michelle Obama's just so much better than Abraham Lincoln. Now, to be fair, 
they did not rename Abraham Lincoln High School after Michelle Obama. Uh, I'm not sure what name they're going to choose yet. Uh, all I know is, is they're not going to be, there's not going to be an Abraham Lincoln High School anymore in the San Francisco Unified School District. <laughs> so, I mean, you know you've hit rock bottom in California when you think that you're just better than Abraham Lincoln and you're better than George Washington and that you can engage in all this revisionist history to make yourself feel, feel that you're so much superior to them. And if you watch any of these Zoom calls with this school board and the unified school district, you will convince yourself how incredibly nutty these people have gotten in California. And that is the dumbest bill in America, California races, Abraham Lincoln. And that's it for Mark and the Millennials. Thank you for joining Mark and Millennials. This is Mark Fisher. Thank you to Christopher Hopkins, our assistant producer. Check us out on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Parler, Rumble, and our website. See you next time.